flow. I thought that I would um, do a reading, pull some cards from my Oracle of Unicorns. And guess who's here to help me today? Tabitha Evelina Ravenmore. <laughs> she has a, one of my little scarves on. <laughs> she slept with it. Because I kind of tucked her into the um, into my Harry Potter drawer. Or sleeping. Did you sleep well? Yes, I did. It was very snuggly in there, nice and warm. Okay, so it's empty. Okay. So since I have one hand and I want you to see that I'm um, shuffling the cards. Let's see. You can shuffle cards many ways. What I do is I just kind of let them fall where they may. So I haven't really been doing this for very long, but I thought, why not? And um, you see the. Um, cardboard that I have inside is covered up with a sock so when my hands in there for a long period of time it's not going to get you know sweaty <laughs> so um, it's going to work this is all going to work and There'll be a time, though, that I'm going to have to be very careful with her and not use her so much. Well, y'all go through that aging process. Aging process? It's an aging process. No, it's just that you get older. Things get harder to use. Like me right now. Sometimes my knees. Okay. Sometimes you just mix the cards, you just shuffle them until you feel done. That's what I'm reading anyways on my book, but my book's about tarot cards. These are oracle cards. So then once you've done that, sometimes they fan them out, but I don't really have enough room for that. So I'm just going to kind of lay them down like this. And Evelina is going to pick one. Okay, this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, let's see if she can hold it. Good job. Could I have it now to read it? Because it's backwards in the screen. And so, um, thank you. You're welcome. Friendship. Seek out. The, your soul family. <laughs> Surround yourself with positive people. Spend more time with socializing <laughs> sorry I had to see it under the light because it's teeny tiny scrolling like handwritten letters but see that it's just hard for my old eyes well I've been doing that a lot lately haven't haven't we I have a wonderful friend um, Mika and her little daughter um, 
for their privacy I don't name names and she doesn't name names so I call her singer sometimes or dancer or um, the little storm because <laughs> one day she was circling around doing a little twirling dance in the um, living room or somewhere and she was singing and talking about she was talking about um, tornadoes and all this stuff in the storm so anyways um, I consider her my soul family we all need to have a soul family for when our family family uh, is either too far away or the affinity with our family is estranged for one reason or another um, and many other ways you could have a wider affinity between you and your family and so I always try to make friends with whoever I can whoever is on the same page as me you know what I mean okay well being on the same page it kind of means you're in the same book okay not uh, literally but figuratively so if one of your friends is reading a book about games and you're reading a book about unicorns um, you're not going to be on the same page ever two different kind of books right so um, on page five of his book it's telling him how to win the game and on page five it's telling you about unicorns and how they've been around for centuries <laughs> centuries and so that's what it means by not being on the same page. But if you find a soul family, um, even if you're on page five of the unicorn book, they might be on page five of a different unicorn book. And you can share the differences by talking about it. And they understand that you believe in unicorns and they believe in unicorns and everything's fine it's wonderful it's magical mystical how sometimes the um, universe puts us together as family family can come from anywhere and everywhere so that's kind of what my little lesson is about today um thank you for the card that was really nice that was a good card you're welcome and i love being in this family because i like to be on the same page with my friends too <laughs> she's so sweet since she had her makeover she's much more friendlier I've always been friendly. Well, sometimes you've been a little bit scary. Oh, sorry. I have my phone propped up on a bag and Ruby's just kicking the bag over. Um, so anyways, yeah. We haven't always been on the same page, her and I. And then I had to do some searching and found out that she was very uncomfortable being in the material and the way she was originally made and began to fall apart. So I fixed that yesterday. <laughs> so let's try to pick another card, shall we? Okay.
Okay. All right. Well, a little bit. Okay, okay. It says beloved. Oh, I like that. Let me hold it under the light. Mm. Prepare for your life partner. Romance is entering to your relationship. Release your uh, Oh, relieve, believe you're, you are lovable. Believe you are lovable. Well, I believe I'm lovable, <laughs> but I'll be darned if I'm ever going to get into a romantic relationship. Well, that was really weird because last night I had this dream. No, not that kind of dream. <laughs> Um, just a dream about a guy that I met. No, not that kind of dream. Well, anyways, it was a nice dream. It's just something I'm going to have to figure out on my own. But I like having a lot of different kinds of friends. I don't just pick one. And just because I'm a woman doesn't mean I have to pick men to be in relationships with. I could be in a relationship with anybody I want to. Um, I've picked relationships with men. It's okay. It's okay. Um, so they haven't worked out. Let me just say that. They haven't worked out. And <clears throat> I don't need to keep talking about all the things that happened with some of those jerks. Mm. You need to watch your language. Don't use language like jerks is okay to say. Jerks is okay. Oh, okay. Well, anyways. I just have to, I should have picked better people along the way. But because I had kids, I felt, hey, there's somebody who likes me. And he's take, taking my, me and my kids out. Or he's being nice to my kids. But men will do just about anything to get into a relationship with a lady. Including pretending to like their children this is just me and my experiences i'm not talking about anybody else it's me and my experiences <laughs> okay um so anyways i don't think i'm ever going to have that kind of a relationship with anybody a man a woman with anybody I'd rather have that kind of relationship with just myself, my friends, and I could have unlimited amount of friends, can't I? We could have as many friends or as little friends as we want. Personally, me, I like to have just enough friends that I could talk to this one here, that one there, this one over there, whatever. <clears throat> And I don't have to worry about um, hurting anybody's feelings because friends understand having friends. And sometimes all your friends become friends together. So then it's, it's nice to have friends that understand that you have friends being on the same page like we just talked about. Let's do one more card because it's... I like the number three today. All right. That one. Okie dokie. Oops. It's almost going to float away. It's like, are you sure you want this one? Yes, I'm sure I want this one. Okay.
prosperity. A gift of money is on its way. You, oh, your income is increasing. Manage your finance with love. Oh, well, that's nice. I like these. I love unicorns. Do you know, like I said, unicorns have been around for centuries. Why haven't we seen them? You know, like when they go looking for dinosaur bones and et cetera like that. Um, well, because a lot of unicorns were used for magical purposes or healing by people who uh, were bad. And they would cut the unicorn's horn off. I know. It is sad. It's very sad. Um, mostly for medical. They thought it was for medical. Uh, but people get greedy and they take too much. Um, so the magic community had to put a spell over them to make them invisible so they could be protected. So now you don't know if you're seeing a horse or a unicorn because they're hidden. They're magically hidden. And you could be in the presence of a unicorn and only if you're a magical person well, you know it. So, thanks for um, being with us today when we pull a few of the unicorn, oracle of the unicorns cards. And talk about things that are important. <laughs> so, I'm going to be going off um I'm not really going anywhere, but I'm going to start getting my clothes on and stuff. I have a few little crafts that I want to do today, and I don't know if I'm going to be showing them or not, but that will be my decision. <laughs> um, I have to paint the tiger's eyes that I, were work I was working on a few days ago, well, last week. I want to finish that up so my granddaughter could put it in her room. That picture, even though I found it, she's, I found, I brought it in for her basically because she loves tigers like I love unicorns. So I have that to do. And um, the other day, I was going through my sewing stuff. And I found this little sock weaving. It's like a, a weaver. I think it's called Quick. No, I forgot what it's called now. <gasps> Again, I just looked it up. Um, oh. Anyways, it's a little weaver. It's a round disc. And you put it under. I mean, you put whatever you're going to mend on top of it. And then you put a band, all the rubber bands that came with it broke. But I use uh, a piece of yarn and I tie it on. Um, it's in my sewing kit right now, so I'm not prepared to show it. But when I do work with that, I'll um, show it a little bit. I want to practice. And even if I'm showing my practicing... And making mistakes, we'll get through it. But I think I want to watch a video of somebody else doing it a couple more times just to make sure I'm doing it right.